Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for all the Sun, Moon and Rising Aries. This is the month of September 2017. And uh, the month of September had the Energy Vibration of the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune carried dual energies, so some people will have new beginnings and some people will have fortune coming in their lives. As we look at the Energy Vibration for now this month we have the zodiac and we begin the month with the zodiac energies of uh, um, earth and we end the month with a zodiac energy of fire so it's going to be a wonderful month for you Aries okay I want to say thank you um, to all my subscribers thank you to the newcomers please subscribe this is going to be um, um, a month of uh, a lot of changes a lot of prosperity coming in new life for some people are here observant be very observant in the third week and it's going to be a month of four weeks four weeks okay as we continue and I'm looking for my glasses as we continue to see what energies are coming out in this month there are wonderful positive energies and we are going to go right in the reading okay in the first week the first week is going to be a week of water okay but before we get to the first week we have your focus in this month of September it's going to be judgment and it's going to be good judgment okay um, judgment is when the energy vibration comes in of other people and uh, the help of the universe coming in to bring you wonderful um, situations in your life so this is going to be good for you Aries this judgment call okay all right we're going forward and we're going to look at what is happening we have the energy vibration of the princess of pentacles in the first week the energy in the first week is the energy of water okay and the energy of water bring the princess of pentacles and the princess of pentacles is a wonderful energy because what is happening is that she is bringing in the magician and the magician is a positive positive energy and with the magician and the princess of pentacles you are going to manifest wonderful financial endeavors in your life financial situations in your life so for people who are looking to start a business it's going to be a wonderful positive week because what happened uh, what happened is that you will meet uh, the princess of pentacles who is a, a Taurus as um, a Virgo or a Capricorn person who is going to help you to bring that magic in your life and it's going to be very positive okay as we go forward you have the energy of new life coming in in the first week so this is going to affect everyone out there this is going to be a positive positive month for everyone because you begin the month with the princess some Taurus Virgo Capricorn is going to come in your life and it's going to help you to bring magic in your life and you're going to have a new beginning so this is going to be wonderful for you Aquarius you um, Aries out there okay it's going to be extremely positive because whenever we have the magician and the sign of a hurt sign person they are going to help you to bring new life in your life okay so this is going to be wonderful as we look at the second week the second week is the energy vibration of an earth energy and we have the energy vibration of the tower in the second week whatever is happening the energy of the tower comes in and it says the house of God but this energy of the uh, why they uh, the uh, the eyes of God is because uh, the universe comes in to clear whatever blockages and negativity that was going on and it's going to be cleared and then you will receive the energy vibration of the ace of Pentacles so this is good whoever that earth person is that Capricorn Taurus or Virgo person who came in your life in the first week they are going to help you with the magician to move the tower and in the second week you're going to see the tower the blasting from something and the releasing of funds coming to you the ace of Pentacles is new growth new life in your financial and materialistic world 
whatever is happening the truth will be told and the truth um, from different um, aspects and different ways people can tell um, speak the truth but it is their own opinion so that's why you have a month of uh, the energy of judgment because the truth will be told but it's going to be in um, the sense that people are going to give their own opinion about the truth okay that's wonderful because the ace of Pentacle in the earth week with the tower is is, uh, is just um, extremely fantastic as we move forward to the third week um, this is going to be wonderful because we have your energy vibration of the devil coming in in the third week so whatever situation that was happening the tower is broke down in the second week and the devil came in in the third week the devil come with a wheel of fortune so this is positive for you Aries or so whatever is happening for you Aries is going to be a wonderful wonderful third week um, all the three um, weeks are wonderful but in the third week with the energy vibration of the devil and the wheel of fortune you're going to see positive situations coming in your life and positive situation um, people are going to have new beginnings and some people are going to um, receive a lot of luck and the third week we have the energy of observation also and this is very very important because whenever we have the energy vibration of observation this is a good 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 positive effect in your life because you have the devil coming in bringing in luck and new beginnings and all you need to do is observe and listen to your inner wisdom and by observing and listening to your inner wisdom you're going to see how positive this is going to work out for you Aries in the third week this is going to be a positive week the last and final week we have the energy vibration of the ace of cups love so this is going to be so positive for you guys in the last week because we have the energy of love the ace of cups coming in so this is going to be a positive energy vibration with that we have the seven of cups so this is going to be good we are going to have new love coming in our lives but yet still new for some people and for some people we are going to have new positive opportunities coming in your lives that we are going to connect with so this is going to be positive and wonderful so whatever the situation is in your life whatever is coming in it's going to be very very positive for some people it's going to be love and so for some people it's going to be a lot of opportunities coming in your life so this is really positive as we look forward what other energies we have we have milk and honey and whenever the energy of milk and honey comes in that mean expect to have a lot of money and a lot of um, stuff gifts coming into you it's as if the universe is going to bless you with new love but yet still bless you with new opportunity and new materialistic gains in the last week is going to be an extremely extremely positive so your first week and last week is going to be extremely positive um, what is happening is that um, in this month a lot of good things are happening some people who are looking for work in the last week is going to find work some people are going to realize that they're being promoted some people are going to realize that extra financial help and materialistic things is coming in your life so this is going to be positive a lot of people are going to meet new people in their lives so this is going to be good okay so okay let's go and look at your reading because uh, your week is a, so a positive positive month and as we look at uh, the situation that is going to affect you it's going to be positive situation because we have uh, the energy of the earth sign the tower we have uh, the, the new love and new prosperity coming in in the last week of September let's look at the love scenario what is going to happen with the love scenario what's happening in the love scenario we have love also uh, which new love is coming in in and the fourth week the fourth week is going to be a week of love as we look at the energy vibration we have uh, um, 
um, certain aspect in the love area and what is happening in the love area is that whenever there is no focus of love um, you are going to receive some of you confusing messages and some of you um, are going to be on you know not stable not understanding what the messages is coming in because there's actually no love in this week it's all about um, you trying to manifest certain things especially people who have just ended relationship you're going to be feeling as if you're going on a new journey because it is the month of judgment for you guys this judgment is going to be good so you'll be um, receiving confusing message from your partners in the first week in the second week we um, as we look at the second week the second week is a more week that you're going to find your inner power whatever is going on it's as if uh, um, you are not um, comfortable but in the second week your finance is going to be improved and this is very 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 good because you have the energy vibration of the ace of Pentacles so whatever is happening there is new situation with you and your partner your financial situation that is going to be extremely good in the second week um, there is going to be a pro improvement of your financial situation and this is going to be good whatever that was blocking your financial situation um, from yourself and your partner the energies is going to be clear and you are going to have a positive outcome so expect that the month of September is going to bring you positive positive energies okay as we look at the third week to see what's happening in love in the third week we have the energy of money money is on its way okay for some people money is going to be on its way to you because this is a positive month this is a month about the improvement your financial situation will be improved and you can see here that uh, with this energy that is coming in with the Sun and uh, um, the devil money is going to be on its way fortunate and the men are going to be extremely extremely fortunate so this is going to be positive for you um, for you um, um, Aries um, in the month of September uh, it's going to be a, a month where money is going to play a significant role your materially um, life will be so positive um, that you are not aware of how um, wonderful the situation is going to work out for you whenever it comes to your materialistic things so this is positive as we look at the fourth week with love is the best week so if you're looking for a relationship the fourth week is going to be the best best week to connect with um, new love new people new love is coming in your life it is going to be a very very positive new friendship um, someone you know is coming to see you for some people so this is going to be wonderful because this is very desirable for the people who are looking they're going to be changing their career and they're going to find stability st a career that stand the test of times so, with love friendships so people who are in friendships are going to become lovers okay so this is wonderful this is a positive positive situation so people who you know have met and have been friends that friends are going to turn into lovers so uh, and for some people you're going to have new people new friendships being made in your life new connections with new people some people are going to have uh, someone coming in to see them um, someone of a love uh, um, a love connection is coming in to see them so this is going to be positive whatever the situation is it's going to be very good because as we look at this energy you're seeing that so many transformation is happening okay um, is that you have um, um, people around you friends around you who have a secret so be aware of it it can be your partner keeping a secret from you and um, and some people will be uh, someone you know is going to start a study and some people are going to be very introvert so normally um, you guys are not introvert but the um, energy of uh, you guys being introvert is happening in this month okay 
I am working with the vortex because it's the, the month energy so I am working with the vortex so let's see what is happening for you guys uh, with the energy vibration of the vortex and I'm calling up with my angels and guides and universal angels to show what energy is here for the Aquarians for the vortex okay the energy of the vortex that is here for you not Aquarians I'm sorry for you Aries is making peace with my today will improve my future this is wonderful so let's see it may sound odd but the fastest way to get to a new and improved situation is to make peace with your current situation by making a list of the most positive aspect you can find about your current situation, you then release your resistance to the improvement that are awaiting for you. But if you rail against the adjustments of your current situation, you hold yourself in a vibrational alignment with what you do not want and you cannot then move in the direction of improvement in your life it is a desire for love for it is it is the define of the law of attraction okay so if we are not happy in the situation that we're in at this time then what we're doing is drawing negative situations into our life because we because we are not happy in whatever is going on around us we tend to draw other things into our lives so we just need to accept where we are at this moment and know that things will work out in whatever way things are going to work out and then we are going to feel much better with our situations okay so let's look at what is the message from the ascendance master and you have nature you have nature and the energy and the message of nature it says the nature kingdom was created from the heart of God the ninth dimensional masters pan direct the element beams to, that support nature and Archangel Pulkut angels of nature lovingly old and protect nature as it uh, energize you raising your frequency and purifying and healing you your guidance is to honor nature's beauty and life force if possible go out into the meadows forest mountain lakes or river and let nature recharge your balance and yields you a love and respect for nature is essential for your ascension and that of the planet so your aff affirmation for this month of September is going to be I thank bless and love the end the entire nature kingdom so I thank bless and love the entire nature kingdom before I move on let's look at what numbers are here um, for you um, for you Aries people let's see what is going to be your energy vibration um, I see six I see six the number six that is materialistic uh, the materialistic aspect of yourself I see the number six coming out um, the number six is going to play a significant role in your life number six so this is going to be good number six is here three times so you have six you have six to six so the number six energies are here twice for you guys so that is going to be a positive positive situation whatever the situation is happening in your life it's going to be extremely positive okay so when the number six energy comes up is all about your materialistic need and this 
you're going to see playing out in your life in the month of September it's going to be a very positive 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 month of um, for of September because it's going to be new beginnings for a lot of people a lot of people are going to find luck in the last week luck in love luck uh, and your materialistic gains in the in the last week so this is going to be a very positive month for you guys okay so let's look at the energy vibration for the Sun sign and the moon sign Aries people okay so what messages for the planets what planets are going to work with the moon sign planets are going to be working with the moon sign as we go forward we're asking the angels and guides uh, what zodiac sign is going to be working with the Sun sign what zodiac sign is going to be working with the moon sign okay all right so let's go in um, the astrological uh, um, side of the reading we have the energy vibration of the Sun who are the Sun people they are the people who were born um, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. okay and there's something here that I've said uh, uh, oh something here that I've seen that I need to um, uh, request information for because I see the energy of the Sun coming up with Pluto and the energy of the Sun coming up with Pluto that is going to be um, good in some ways and it depends on how we see things because everything is good whenever the Sun is coming up with the planet working with you with Pluto for you Aries that is saying that it needs you the Sun with Pluto a cycle has finished release what no longer serves you and trust that something better is on its way oh this is wonderful because my I, I got the message that you know the Sun with Pluto it has a, a significant role on you people so you know a cycle as a finish release what no longer serve you and trust that something better is on its way and this is so positive so here we have for the Sun people um, the energy vibration of Pluto for the Sun people the planet that you'll be working with the people who will be coming in to help you as uh, the Sagittarius so whatever the situation is that you need to release you Sun people the energy of the Sagittarius people with Pluto is coming in because Pluto is a planet that needs you to release certain aspect of yourself and certain sit situation of yourself and by doing that you are going to realize that the Aquarians are also going to come in to help you to do that release so for you Sun people I'm trying um, to show you for you Sun people you Sun people are going to be working with the planet of Pluto and you have the energy vibration of the Sagittarians coming in and the Aquarians coming in to help you guys in the month of September okay so here we go I hope you can see this okay we're moving on to the lunar people let's see what is here for the moon people and who are the moon people the moon people are the energies and at the energies of you being born 6 um, p.m. between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. so the moon people are here so let's look and see what planets are working for you because the planet of Neptune keep on coming up so for you moon people your spirit guides the intergalactic beams will be working with you guys so whatever is happening in your life you are going to realize that the intergalactic beams are going to be working with you in this month so let's see what does the uh, moon energy and the Neptune and I already know what that is saying because it wants you to awaken the unseen side this is a time of great a uh, psychic sensitivity for you trust your intuition and follow its guidance so this is good whatever is happening it is a uh, um, this time is um, a great psychic sensitive sensitive for you trust your intuition and follow 
its guidance so I know whenever the moon and Pluto comes up it's about your psychic it's about um, your intuition but it's mostly the intuition is different than your psychic okay so people need to understand that the intuition is different than the psychic okay what is happening for you moon people the Neptune uh, um, is here with the energy of the moon people have the energy and the planet of Neptune that will be working with you. So if you're a psychic, your psychic is going to be extremely high. And the cancers are here because the cancers are also psychic people. They work with the unseen world. And what we have is the Taurus, which is really unbelievable because we weren't expecting to see the Taurus. But this is a positive energy is coming in because whenever the energy vibration of the Taurus comes in, in, um, in a, um, a, a psychic time whenever we're working with the unseen world the galactic and the universal beam and the cosmic family then you will see that you're going to find the inner strength and the Tauruses are going to help you to balance out yourself because the cancers and the Taurus really help people to balance out their selves so this is going to be wonderful I want to say to each and every person it's going to be a positive month it's going to be your first week and your last week is going to be excited all four weeks are actually good but in the second week um, it, whatever that was blocking your financial situation is going to be cleared and in the third week you just need to observe please people observe observe all, all what is going on around you in the second week and everything is going to work out please remember to listen to the general readings listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and don't forget this month is just four weeks so be aware um, be open up to the energies and I want to say namaste until next time.